Everton fans were seen marching outside Goodison Park on Saturday as they took part in a peaceful protest ahead of their relegation scrap against Leeds. The supporters held banners telling the board they were not welcome and labeling Chairman Bill Kenwright the world's worst Evertonian. They also let off blue flares and sung It's Time to Go among other Everton songs, before the club's victory over Leeds. It comes after a string of protests about the way the club is being run that have taken place this season. Everton have endured a shambolic seven years since Farhad Mashiri took over as majority shareholder, getting through ten managers in that period and producing disappointing results on the pitch despite heavy spending. Everton fan groups marched to Goodison Park together in peaceful protest against the club's board ahead of their game versus Leeds hashtag all together now pick. Twitter.com slash M5 Havenpow, James Nalton, at JDA Alton, February 18, 2023 Everton fans held a peaceful protest on Saturday ahead of their clash with Leeds The protests focused on the club's board as fans chanted it's time to go It is the most recent in a series of protests from Toffees fans at Goodison Park this season A recent sportsmail investigation was told of a toxic environment on the club's board, with Kenwright wielding considerable influence despite owning just one. 3% of the club, the protests began under Frank Lampard's management, as fans waved sack the board banners and staged sit-ins at Goodison Park amid a poor run of form for their side. While the vast majority of protests have been peaceful, there were allegations that director Denise Barrett Baxendale had been put in a headlock by a fan after a game at Goodison on January 3 against Brighton, while she and Kenwright have also received hateful correspondence on email. The board has since been urged to stay away from Goodison Park, and empty seats in the director's box have become a feature of Everton's home games. There was also footage widely circulated following Everton's 2-1 loss to Southampton that showed supporters accosting players as they sought to leave the area surrounding Goodison Park on Saturday evening. Defender Yeri Mina was confronted by a supporter after the game, while midfielder Anthony Gordon was chased down the street by another fan before he left the club. Results have taken an upturn since Sean Deitch replaced Frank Lampard as Toffee's box, as they have taken two wins out of three games under the new boss. Everton chairman Bill Kenwright was labeled the world's worst Evertonian by one banner A banner was flown over Goodison Park during their last home game things have improved on the pitch recently, with the Toffees taking six points from three games the protests have remained, though, with Saturday's march preceded by a banner flown over the ground during their last home game that called Everton the league's worst run club. Recent action from fans does appear to be focused solely on the board and not at the players or managers, as a statement from Everton fan organizations shown to the Liverpool Echo ahead of the protests said, we demand that the board and owner refrain from attending any further games. Such attendance would prove to be an unwanted distraction for both the fans and the team. It is our belief that you are not fit to lead our club, and your presence would only have a further negative impact. Put your egos aside and leave match days to the fans who care about the club and will attempt, once again, alongside Sean Dyche and his team to drag this team closer to safety at every opportunity available. Everton bounced back from their defeat to Liverpool earlier this week, by seeing off fellow relegation rivals Leeds 1-0.